Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Whew. Let's go open for business and let's wake up the football guys. Wake up, guys. Wake up. Wake up. Here we are, January 2nd, 2020, a new decade, two days in, and we're still dealing with issues that have plagued us the last decade. Slow response in making decisions, dealing with a coach that couldn't hunt, and here we are, day four of the Jason Garrett saga. The Dallas Cowboys are meeting again today with Jason Garrett. I can't understand what in the world is going on. I hope it's not that Jerry Jones is meeting with him and saying, Jason, I want you to come home, go home. I want you to sleep on this. And I want you to come back with a plan of how you get us a Super Bowl victory. And we'll decide on what you come up with. What do we need to do to support you to make sure this thing happens? Is it that you need more players? Is it that you need more control? Is it that you need, you know, different coaches? You know, you tell me, do we need to fire everybody and hold on to you? and Or do we need a different quarterback? What is your plan? I, I don't know. I don't have a clue. All I know is, is... When he bought the Dallas Cowboys, immediately, Tom Landry was gone. Jer Jason, uh, Jimmy Johnson was a meeting, excuse me, a dinner party, and then it was, we've mutually agreed to part ways. Two guys that won multiple Super Bowls. Now we have a guy who's won two playoff games in a decade, and we are meeting after meeting after meeting. It makes no sense, and it's going to do what always happens when the Cowboys wait to do things. It's going to hurt. The th only other thing I can think of is we just don't, we don't want you to be our head coach, but we don't want you to coach anywhere else. We're worried that you'll go to New York and you'll win a Super Bowl there and we'll look stupid. So we're going to make it hard for you to get another job. Because as we look around right now, we already know that the Redskins have hired Ron Rivera. they got Jack Del Rio as their defensive coordinator. They're putting a staff together. They're making decisions because come March, free agency and the league year starts. Eric Bionemi from the Chiefs is interviewing today with the Panthers, one of the hot names. Panthers, who also have permission for Josh McDaniels to come in. Two of the big names. Mike McCarthy, interviewing with the Browns today, and I believe tomorrow or Saturday with the Giants. Giants also interviewing Chris Richard today. Also going to be talking to Josh McDaniels. As well as the Browns, talking to Eric Bieniemy, Matt Rule, and Mike McCarthy. So you see other teams that are right now working on next season, figuring out who's going to be the guy, who are going to be the coaches that he's going to need to bring in, so we can start figuring out a philosophy of what we're going to do. Are we going to keep the same kind of system and the same type of players, or are we going to try something different? Are we going to switch from 3-4 to the 4-3 or the 4-3 to the 3-4? Do we need to get bigger defensive linemen, smaller offensive linemen? It, it, it all depends on the philosophy that comes in. And the offseason, believe it or not, is too short to plan everything. You cannot waste time. And you certainly shouldn't leave somebody hanging, including your whole team. Now, if you've been under a rock or if you just came here from Mars, here's the situation. Jason Garrett was the longest tenured coach without going to a Super Bowl. His playoff record 
Not real good. Two wins, three losses. His season records, 8-8, eight and eight, play in game, loss. 8-8, eight and eight, play in game, and loss. 8-8, eight and eight, play in game, and loss. 2014, 12 and, uh, 12 and 4, catch no catch away from going to the NFC Championship game. The next year, 4 and 12, four different quarterbacks, three of which only had one victory. Loses Tony Romo in 2016, gets Rookie of the Year quarterback Dak Prescott and best running back in football. Goes 13 and 3, wins one playoff game, and out versus the Packers again. 2017, promising season. Zeke Elliott suspended. 9-7. and seven. Disappointing year. Dak Prescott regresses. Hmm. 2018, 3-5 start. 7-1 and one finish once you got Amari Cooper. Playoff win, and then a loss. Did I say it was a playoff win in 2016? There wasn't. 2019, really disappointing. A Super Bowl contending team, everybody thought. Favored to win 15 games. Favored to win 15 of their games. Ends up 8-8, eight and eight, where we started. The beginning of the year, it was told that it was Super Bowl or bust. You must do better than you did last year. Yet, we didn't. And here we are, day number four, with a third meeting with Jason Garrett to decide his future. I don't know how else to put it other than the Dallas Cowboys don't do things like anybody else, and the results on the field show it. Not in a good way. We waited to sign Demarcus Lawrence, in which case he said, I'm not getting my shoulder worked on. Was not able to work out and go through training camp and went from a guy who two years ago had 14 and a half sacks, an MVP contender, to a guy who had the same amount of sacks as a guy we released that we thought of as a bust. Five. You waited on signing Zeke Elliott's contract, and he holds out till the very last week of training camp. In a season, you have to look at him and say, it was still good in yards because you ran him so much, but you got to look at him and say, did he lose a burst? Was he not in shape? Dak Prescott, while Jared Goff and Carson Wentz get their deals, and go can play all out without worrying about their future. The Cowboys, of course, after having a bargain for four years, failed to get him a new deal, which I believe made him a little cautious as far as wanting to run the football. I know that if the amount of money that I've been paid in my four years is $4 million, what Aaron Rodgers makes in two games, and that I don't have a contract after this year, I'm going to think twice before I go running for that extra yard or two. All of these moves that the Cowboys have done, taking their time, have hurt them. And now you can look at a lot of the good candidates are being interviewed and getting jobs. And so the pool that you're going for is shrinking. Unless you have somebody already in mind, or you've already made a deal with behind doors and you're just looking for the limelight, this makes no sense. Now, maybe it's Lincoln Riley. Uh, somebody had sent me a text that they had seen where a um, recruit had put into his signing that if Lincoln Riley goes to the pros, that he can take back his um, commitment. And they had heard that this kid had taken back his commitment. Maybe it's Lincoln Riley is coming to the Dallas Cowboys. Maybe it's Urban Meyer. Whatever it may be, I don't know what it is because at the moment, the Cowboys are wasting time because we have 26 free agents. We have to determine, are we going to tag Dak Prescott or get him a long-term deal before March? 
we have to determine, are we going to get a long-term deal for Amari Cooper, or are we going to transition tag him? We have to decide what kind of defense are we going to run. We've already told the assistants that if you can find work elsewhere, go ahead if your contract's expiring. So that's Rob Marnelli and Chris Richard. So what kind of defense are we going to run, and hence what defensive linemen are we going to keep? What players do we want to come back? What players do we want to target in free agency? All of this depends on who is the coach and the philosophy. And we'll find out. Maybe maybe we won't find out today. Maybe there'll be another meeting tomorrow. I don't know. But the coaching carousel, Cowboys aren't on it. And I'm mystified. Well, I've got to get down the road. i got to get my dump trailer down the country. And so... I may be out of touch because sometimes the cell phones don't work real good. It may take me a while to upload stuff, but we'll do the best we can on this day number four of the Jason Garrett saga. I'll see you guys soon.